Top of the morning to you lads and lasses. Today we are going to review Irish Spring Soap. It comes in a four ounce bar and you can purchase this everywhere. It's probably the second cheapest soap on the market with ivory being the first. Let's take a look at the bar of soap itself, shall we? It comes in a beautiful emerald color. It's a very nice design, I like that. There's a cleft there so it will go onto your skin in a uh, convenient fashion. Um, I'm prejudiced against this soap, and I think you should know that right off the bat. We have a history. This soap is the soap that I used to use when I had my first apartment, when I was first coming up in the world, and I didn't have a lot of money to spare, so I would just buy this and I would bathe with it every day. It was a terrible experience. I would put on these flip-flops and then I would step into my dirty shower and I would just use this for 10 minutes and then I would get out and towel down and continue on with my life. I didn't know any better back then. Today I thought I would try to review it, I would try to be as unbiased as I could, but the words of this one girl have always stuck with me, and she said that the scent of Irish Spring Soap reminds her of the scent of poverty. When I smell the scent of this soap, it smells like a chemical cleaner. It's okay, it's not terrible, but it is very strong and overpowering. That's why on the box they can claim 12 hours of deodorant protection because this is all anyone will be able to smell when you're around. Moisturizing. The soap, it doesn't moisturize. It is like the anti-moisturizing soap. Um, after toweling off and stepping out of the shower, having breakfast, I looked down at my arms and they were turning flaky and white as my skin began to die and dry out. Just no, 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 no for the moisturizing. Lathering. You know, I thought maybe they'll get the lathering right, but really it's like a grease, a greasy film all over your body. And it's just, maybe that's how the scent stays on. Like it just cakes to you and you can't even shower it off. It's just really greasy. So basically, all around, not a good soap. I'm sure those of you out there uh, watching this, or some of you who are Irish Spring Defenders, possibly Irish, who will defend this and say, this is a good soap. Well, like you, a long time ago, I didn't know any better, but after trying different soaps, I can say that there are many other soaps that are far better than this, and you really need to broaden your horizons. Please, try anything else. Buy a bar of Dove. Well, one of the ways Irish Springs gets people is, is their advertising, especially men. They gear their soap towards men. They have commercials that say that this is a manly scent, that men use it. Um, you know, women generally don't like the smell of cleaning solution and it's not just that one girl who's voiced that opinion. When I do my soap research, I will check online and read some of the comments, and there are a lot of women out there who don't like this scent. And I don't think it's manly to have flaky, dry skin. Women like healthy looking, moisturized skin. So this soap on its advertising tries to dupe you, but let me tell you, it, it's just not a good soap. Please don't buy it. Nobody's gonna like you for it. You know, no one's gonna go, wow, what's that wonderful chemical smell that you have on your body. So there we have it. I forced myself to review the soap. It is done. I did not enjoy it. When I take a 15 minute shower in the morning, I want to do more than just clean my body. I want to moisturize my skin. I want to leave a nice pleasant scent on me. I want to enjoy the shower experience. But with Irish Springs, it's just putting water on your body and cleaning yourself. And that is just not good enough. Well, thank you for joining me this morning. And I hope to see you next time.